Hello, my name is Megan. This is my SUV camper. I built it myself a couple of months ago. I've been living in it for a month now. I wanted to just demonstrate how I move around in it, but this very quickly turned into an impromptu um, tour. I'm going to show you a few of the things that are inside and where I put things. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm happy to answer. I just want everyone to be outside on an adventure like me. <laughs> and aside from that, I do have a lot of stuff posted on my Instagram from while I was building it. So you can definitely check that out for now. Um, but maybe one day I'll actually post some videos from while I was building it in more of a detailed format. Okay, I actually filmed this at the end of all of that. So um, enjoy everything I just filmed for the past 30 minutes. So right now I have it set up sort of in my like permanent bed state. I can remove the back half so that I can enter through the door. But while I'm camping, I don't bother undoing it and doing it and I can just have my whole back door open. I do have storage underneath the bed. So I have this drawer here, it's not on drawer slides, it's just snugly fit. And then under here, I have some sort of pieces that can extend the bed using these slats here, but <laughs> I don't know the way things shifted as soon as I started driving or maybe the wood expanded. They don't fit that well and I don't use it nearly as much as I thought I would. So otherwise I just kind of lift them and then I can move these bed slats. They're just velcroed so if I can get to things in here if I need to. But I put things under there that I wouldn't have to access very much because it is hard to get into, but I can inside my vehicle, even if it's raining, whatever, no problems. My toilet is here. I don't use that as my main toilet per se. It's more just like if I, if I have to. I have my clothes in basically the top shelves here. So this one opens like this. I have a lot of t-shirts. Hi, this is Megan from the future. I'm editing and the audio actually got messed up in like the main clip. So it's time for a voiceover. All right, so this is me showing you that I have most of my stuff packed in cubes or baskets. And then underneath in this main shelf, I have a lot of my kitchen stuff and just sort of like random crafty activities for when I'm bored. In this other little cabinet, I have my shorts and my pants. And in the lower half, I have all of my coffee and tea stuff. Basically, every time I want to get into this cabinet, I have to pull out about seven other things to get to what I really wanted. So it's not perfect, but it does the job. So those are my main cabinets. And then usually to move around, I just sort of bum shuffle down the bed. And I have this little gap here. I have a cutting board and usually I just throw whatever else I need to store at the time. Originally, it was going to be an extra cupboard, but you know, plans change. And then behind here, I have all my water storage. So I can't actually get into it from inside the car. I access it from the side door. And here is my little one burner stove. Sometimes I do wish I had a two burner, but it fits into this little cubby perfectly. That's not lucky. Most of the things in this build were measured around very specific items, such as the toilet, the stove, and even like the width of my laptop so it fit on the counter. Next up, I'm showing you my kitchen drawer. It holds every kitchen item that I own, including my bowls, spices, utensils. I have everything stacked with tissue paper or napkins to reduce the clanking. I could just use paper or plastic items and it would probably make my life easier, but I really appreciate the sense of home that having glassware gives me. I have my little dish mat. I have this little basket that I like velcroed to the top of the counter last minute and it's been probably one of the most handy things to have just because it just is my like go-to like toothbrush and everyday use things because sometimes opening these can get annoying because I have to move everything off the counter in front of it. We have a sink. I do have running water. It's just a USB rechargeable pump. The other part of my kitchen I love is this little trough I built in the four by five inch ish space that's above the door handle. It's where I keep all of my cooking oils and dish soap. And now my ice cold fridge. It's cheaper than a Dometic and it works all the same. This is me demonstrating how I might stand up inside, if you can call it standing. If I were to wash my face over the sink, this is kind of what I would do. Otherwise I kind of like I can move around. <laughs> inside but usually i just sit if i'm hanging out allow me to demonstrate myself watching youtube or netflix and lounging about on a rainy day here's me sleeping <laughs> and telling you that i could also sit here and read a book or enjoy the view this is my lovely view another little thing i did was add this greenery because i'm no perfect builder and there's a lot of gaps and it kind of just hides the imperfections. <laughs> I'll do a quick bit on my solar setup as well. It was done by my boyfriend. He's an electrician, so 
it's pretty sweet. First thing is this little plug. It's the handiest thing. It's usually where I charge my phone or my laptop. Under here, I have all of my electrical stuff. There's a battery, an inverter. Obviously, I have my extension cords, I have my shoes under there. And because I have my bed fully set up, I'm just kind of throwing random crap under the bed right now. That does remove and battery, inverter, charge controller. We ran an extension cord all through under here to go make that plug that I just showed you. In addition to that, there is a isolator under the hood so that my car, while I'm driving, can charge my auxiliary battery, but it won't drain it while I'm sitting still, which is the best thing. So the isolator lives in this little spot. It was quite the journey getting this all set up to work properly. And we had to work with some fuses. I had to add that little guy. Okay, and then the solar panel is up here, obviously. <laughs> it's 100 watts, I think. I got it from Wayfair and it's attached to the roof rack, which came with the vehicle. I don't really know how well it works. I'd say it keeps my fridge going. One time I was staying in a place a bit longer than I expected, so I wasn't really conserving my battery power, but it is hooked up directly from like the charge controller. So it did keep my Iceco fridge going for another day or two, as long as I had sun. The last thing to show you, I believe, is my plumbing. I have a lot of stuff in here, stuff that I really don't use that often and probably don't need, but partially I just needed to store my stuff because I don't actually have a home. Besides this, of course. It's very simple. There's a gray jug and a not gray jug. This wasn't the plan. The plan was to have three jugs all standing up, but the height of the sink drain was below the top of the jug. And when I was making the height of the counter, all I was thinking was below the window. So mm, didn't work out for me, but we came up with this idea to just lean them sideways, which of course they might leak. So I have some food safe waterproof putty um, that seals the lid thing here, which I basically drilled a hole through and then shoved the tube through and connected that to my USB rechargeable water pump. This drain thing hose is from Amazon. It's perfect. It does a job. <laughs> So that's my home on wheels. It's um, beautiful and I love it, but it's definitely a little rickety in places, especially driving down plenty of logging roads to get to campsites like these. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. If you're interested in any of the products I use, there's a link to my Amazon shop in the description. And yeah, <laughs> I'll see you next time.